important architecture outside of x86. And which you consider to be more important depends in part on which device you're aiming for. Um, and it's getting a lot of development effort. And this just resulted in a lot of stupid clashes and a lot of extra work for people like Thomas, who will probably back me up on this, yeah. because he worked for a year on some of these things. Uh, so ARM is getting better. That's the good news. They are very aware of the fact that I basically told some people that I will not pull from you anymore unless you start fixing things up. So the ARM community is very aware of this. It seems to be making progress. I'm much happier with ARM today than I was six months ago. So progress has happened. It's not perfect, don't get me wrong. I really, really wish that there would be more standardization. And I think the ARM companies, even on the hardware side, are starting to see the light. Uh, it's, it's, so it's getting better, but it's not perfect. But uh, also the, the, they have overcome the point where they all were thinking that their SOC is so special. So basically, if you look in the, into those groups, they all have the ARM core and they all have some variations of IP devices, uh, peripheral devices, IP box in there. And if you look down into drivers, it gets really ridiculous. We have had from one IP box roughly five drivers, and two of them came from Intel because they built the same IP blocks into x86 chips, and of course, because that if it's in an x86 chip, it's, it's totally different device, and therefore you need a new driver, which is totally silly. Um, and you're getting better at that. People are understanding that the whole world is going to, to just recycle all the things that we have to look out for the similarities and find them. So yes, almost getting better. They're more aware about <coughs> getting the things done in a, in a, in a more common way. And I totally agree that you want not to hack the things, but uh, I actually prefer some of the ARM titles and its interrupt controllers way over the architecture lines of the. It, it so happens that some of the stuff that was designed during the 80s and 90s weren't all that great. And some of the replacements Intel has made for the timer is actually worse in some respects. So. Uh, people make mistakes. Uh, I'm not saying the PC platform is wonderful, but it's wonderful to only have to support a handful of different ways of doing timers over having to support a hundred. So that, that, that was the historical problem with ARM, and I really have to see that the hardware manufacturers in particular are also starting to see what a wasted effort it is to duplicate these parts that nobody really cares about.